This video is part of our tutorial series for the SIG300. I'm Jazz, an AI avatar, and I will guide you through this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to access the IO-Link process data so that it can be used in your PLC application. The representation of the process data depends on the device. For this reason, SIC provides the web service Function Block Factory that allows you to create device-specific function blocks, FBs. These FBs help you to interpret the process data and to read and write service data. Please visit the website ff.cloud.sic.com and create a function block tailored to your application. To be able to use the process data parser block, you must first import it into the application project. Open the Libraries view from the right-hand tab menu. Here we open the library that we have created with the function block factory as a global library. In order to use the library with TIA portal greater than V14, it must be upgraded by clicking the Upgrade button. The library will then be available in the list of global libraries. Under the folder Master Copies, we find program blocks and data types which need to be copied into the Program Blocks and PLC Data Types folder in the project. In the next step, we open the main routine, OB1, and call the function f underscore sic underscore pd underscore mpb10 in the first network. This function needs to be configured first. We obtain the hardware identifier from the submodule, which provides the raw process data, and transfer it to the ID parameter of the function. The relative byte offset is not used for the SIG 300 IO Link Master and is therefore fixed to zero. We need to store the process data in a separate variable, which is part of a new data block. To do this, we create a data block, DB. Then we create a variable of the type st underscore sick underscore pd underscore mpb10, which should hold the data. In this data block, we also create a variable for the error code, which provides information in the event of an error. Compile the data block. Now we assign both variables to the output parameters of the function call. To update the PLC program, we compile the project and download it to the PLC. The interpreted process data is available in the data block. To monitor the interpreted data, we open a watch table. Then we add the corresponding variables from the data block.
Click on Monitor All to monitor the interpreted data. Now you have learned how to access and interpret IO-Link process data using device-specific function blocks from Six Function Block Factory. Import them into your PLC application and monitor the interpreted data. In the next tutorial, we will look at the handling of IO-Link service data, known as ISDUs. Thanks for watching.